Hello everyone, here I am doing exercise 2.5, fifth question, chapter is fraction decimal of class 7. So in this exercise you have learned how to divide a decimal number by a whole number and later you have learned how to divide a decimal number with a 10, 100 and 1000. And the last in this question, it's not a last one, second last question, where you are going to learn how to divide a decimal number by a decimal number. Okay. So let's start with the first question. So the first question we don't have a decimal number but decimal number. We have a whole number divided by decimal number. So 7 divided by 3.5. So in your uh, lower classes you have learned how to convert a decimal into a fraction, right? So suppose we have a 3.5. This is equal to 35 upon 10. So after decimal you have a one digit so you're going to get 10 in the denominator. Suppose you have a 3.57 so this will be equal to 357 upon 100 because we have a two digit after decimal so we're going to get two zeros in the denominator. Right? So same thing. So let's open up this. So this is equal to 7 divided by 3.5. Now I'm going to remove the decimal. So this will be equal to 7 upon 35 multiplied by and the so the 10 will go in the numerator now I'm going to explain this for the first question why 10 is in the numerator so th this is like very simple so it's like 7 divided by 3.5 I'm going to explain this for the first question you can apply the same thing for the rest of the questions uh, so I'm going to do the directly for the rest of the questions I'm going to explain in the first one so it is like 7 divided by 35 multiplied by 10 so it's 35 divided by 10 right I have removed the decimal it is 35 divided by 10 we have a division here you have learned how to divide two fractions in this chapter right it is 7 the first number will remain same the 7 will remain same division become multiplication and you should take a reciprocal of second number so reciprocal of second number will be 10 upon 35 so you can see the same thing we got here 7 into 10 upon 35 that is what we have got so instead of doing all the steps I have directly written like this a simple way what you will remember is if you have a decimal in the denominator the 10 or 100,000 will want to come in the numerator okay you can remember in that way if you have a decimal point in the numerator and you want to remove decimal then the 10 100,000 whichever number is come it want to come in denominator okay I'm just avoiding all the steps even you can avoid it you can directly write it in this way remove decimal from denominator you add down 10 in the numerator okay, okay? so that's it so let's continue now so this is equal to 70 upon 35 so you can cancel this directly in 35 table 35 ones are 35 twos are 70 if you want to cancel this in the 5 table you can go for it you're going to get the same answer but try to reduce it to the lowest form okay, if you stop this in a one step you'll not get it you have to bring it to the lowest form so here i'm going to cancel directly in 35 table 35 ones are and 35 twos are 70 so answer is 2 by 1 or you can directly write down 2 as an answer so that was first question then the second one thirty six divided by zero point two so this is equal to thirty six upon zero point two so I'm going to remove this decimal I'm going to put ten in the numerator so it will be thirty six multiplied by ten upon two now this is equal to 360 divided by 2 now cancel them so two ones are two ones are two one is a remainder that makes a number 16 so two eights are 16 and the zero so we got answer 180 I'm doing cancellation if you want to divide you can divide it you want to get same answer then third one so 180 is the answer for second question so third one is 3.25 divide by 0 0.5 now from here it is different we have a decimal in both um, this dividend and divisor so it is 3.25 multiplied by 0 0.5 now remember now see here I will going to remove this decimal from the numerator and you can see I have a two digits right so I'll get 100 in the denominator so it will be 325 upon I'll get 100 in the denominator and here I have a f uh, 0 0.5 I removed this decimal point suppose I have one digit so I'll get 10 in the numerator and 5 here 
So it's very simple. If you remove a decimal from numerator, I'll get ten, hundred, or thousand in the denominator. If if you're removing a decimal from denominator, I'll get in the numerator ten, hundred, or thousand. Based on how many digits are there after decimal. That's it. Now you do the cancellation. You can cancel ten and hundred directly. One one zero will get cancelled, or ten ones, or ten tens, or hundred. Anything. Now cancel this in five table. Five ones are five. Five six are thirty. Two is the remainder. So I'm gonna make it twenty five here, and five fours are twenty five. So you can see I got sixty five upon ten. This hundred is there, but zero is cancelled, so it's ten. So this is equal to six point five. I'm not cancelling it again. We can cancel this, okay? But I'm not doing it because again I I don't want to add two more steps to this. If you cancel it, you will get same answer, okay? Uh, you will get thirteen upon five. Again, you have to divide thirteen and five. You'll get the answer in decimal, which which is same as six point five. So instead of doing that, I'm directly converting this into decimal, which is six point five. Then the next question. This is easy way of doing it. We have fourth question. Thirty point nine four divided by zero point seven. So this is equal to thirty point nine four. Now I'm going to do it in a one step directly. Let me write down. Okay, zero point seven. I'm going to show you everything in one single step. Try to understand here. I'm just avoiding the number of steps here. If you want, you can go for it. I'm going to remove this decimal from thirty point nine four. I have a two digits, right? Nine four. So I'll get hundred in the denominator. I'm going to remove this decimal. 0.7. So I have a 7 in the denominator, which means I'll get 10 in the numerator. Okay, I'm just removing two, three steps instead of doing that. It is like time-consuming. You'll not get this much time in your exam. So I'm directly explaining here. So I've explained this in previous questions, but from here I'm going to do it directly. Now you're going to do the cancellation. So you can cancel here 7 and uh, 3094 in a seven table. Seven ones are seven. And here we have seven. We got thirty, right? So seven uh, fours is twenty-eight. Two is a remainder that makes a number twenty-nine. We have two and nine twenty-nine. Again, seven fours are twenty-eight. One is a remainder that makes a number fourteen. Seven twos are fourteen. And here you can cancel ten and hundred. Ten ones are ten. Ten tens are hundred. So this is equal to four forty-two divided by ten. So convert directly into decimal. We have a ten, which means we have to put decimal from the right side after one place. That is, it will be two point four four. This you have just learnt in your uh, previous questions. I guess second question of same exercise. If you're dividing a number from uh, uh, with a ten, from the the decimal go to the left side. So there's no decimal means from here you have to start. Okay, it will go here. After two, you have to put decimal. So it's forty-two, forty-four point two is the answer. Then the next one, fifth question. So fifth one, we have zero point five divided by zero point two five. So this is equal to zero point five whole divided by. Again, I'm doing in a one single step here. Now remove this decimal. This is a one digit, so I will get ten in the denominator. Remove this decimal. We have a two digit, so we will get hundred in the numerator. Okay. Now cancel. Five ones are five. Five fives are twenty-five. Can we cancel anything further? Yes, we can cancel five and hundred. Five ones are five. Five twenties are hundred. Now we got here ten and twenty. Cancel this ten and twenty in ten table. Ten ones are ten twos are twenty. So answer is two. That's it. The next one, sixth question. So seven point seven five divided by zero point two five. So this is equal to seven point seven five divided by zero point two five. Now remove decimal from the numerator. Okay, there are two digits, so we'll get hundred in the denominator. Again, remove decimal from denominator. We'll get hundred in the numerator. Now cancel hundred and hundred directly. Okay. Now cancel twenty-five and seven seventy-five. So let me write it here. I have removed decimals. Remember that. So seven seventy-five 
upon 25 i'm just writing it separately because it's uh, there's no space for cancellation there now here you can directly cancel this in 25 table because the number is ending with 5 i guess this number goes in 25 or if you want you can cancel this in 5 table so here i'm going to try with 5 so 5 fives are 25 then 5 ones are 5 2 is a remainder that makes a number 27 so 7 uh, sorry 5 fives are 25 again 2 is a remainder that makes a number 25 again 5 fives are 25 so we got here 155 upon 5 again this goes in 5 tables so cancel it 5 ones are 5 5 threes are 15 5 ones are 5 so 31 upon 1 or 31 is the answer that is the sixth question now the seventh one seventy six point five divided by zero point one five this is equal to seventy six point five whole divided by zero point one five same thing remove decimals first so if i remove the decimal from numerator this is one digit so i'll get 10 in the denominator remove decimal from the denominator there are two digits so we'll get 100 in the numerator so now cancel the numbers so you can cancel here uh, 10 and 100 10 ones are and 10 tens are 100 or just cancel one zero now we got here 15 and uh, let me write it here again separately there's a no space so 765 uh, multiplied by 10 divided by 15 you can cancel this in 5 table 5 threes are 15 5 ones are 5 2 is a remainder that makes a number 26 5 fives are 25 1 is a remainder then 5 threes are 15 now we got 3 and 153 it goes in 3 table 3 ones are 3 3 fives are 15 3 ones are 3 and we have 51 and 10 in the numerator so 51 tens is 510 that's the answer now next one eighth question 37.8 divided by 1.4 so this is equal to 37.8 divided by 1.4 remove decimals you can see both we have one one digit after decimal so if I remove this I'll get 10 in the denominator if I remove this one I'll get 10 in the numerator so cancel 10 and 10 directly we got 378 divided by 14 now you can cancel this in 7 table or 2 table or directly in 14 table here I'm gonna cancel this in uh, 2 table let me start with 2 2 7s are 14 2 1s are 2 1 is a remainder that makes a number 17 2 8s are 16 again put 1 there because 1 is a remainder then 2 9s are 18 so we got 189 divided by 7 we can cancel this again in 7 table 7 1s are 7 7 2s are 14 so 18 we have and 14 right so 4 will be the remainder so that makes it number 49 7 7s are 49 so 27 upon 1 or 27 is the answer then the last question ninth one 2.73 divided by 1.3 so this is equal to 2.73 upon 1.3 so I'm gonna remove the decimals remove this decimal I'll get 100 in the denominator because there are two digits 7 and 3 remove this decimal we have one digit so we'll get 10 in the numerator now cancel a uh, 10 and 100 10 ones are and 10 tens are 100 so this is equal to 273 upon 13 multiplied by 10 now here remember you have to cancel this directly in a 13 table because 13 table 13 is a prime number you cannot cancel this in any other table now so this is 13 ones are 13 13 twos are 26 one is a remainder which uh, which makes the number 13 so 13 ones are 13 again so we got here 21 upon 10 so this is equal to convert this into decimal 2.1 is the answer so with this we have done all the questions uh, from the fifth question how to divide a decimal by decimal you have learned now in case you have further questions or doubt on this you can drop a comment i'll try to answer it thank you so much for watching